Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the installment of Scott Selections with WindowsWarners.com. In this installment, we're going to be looking at a match between the Houston Rockets and the San Antonio Spurs. Before we do that, we're going to do a brief recap of what happened yesterday. We ended up picking up a tough loss in baseball as we ended up having the Athletics money line at minus 126 on FanDuel. Unfortunately, they were up 9-4 in the fourth. Uh, they gave up six unanswered runs after that. Uh, Trout had two home runs that kept pitching to him for some reason and ended up hitting a uh, game-winning solo shot in the eighth. So we ended up picking up a loss there. Pretty unfortunate, but Oakland ended up having a five-run lead in uh, game one I thought uh, the exact way it would, I thought it would. And then, unfortunately, they blow a nine-game winning streak by giving up six unanswered runs. So it is what it is. We're going to be going back to basketball here. And basketball is kind of getting tricky now because you have a couple of games before the end of the regular season, and momentum is definitely playing a factor for some teams. Some other teams are not interested in this, these games at all as they have no motivation and they're just simply going to be waiting it out. And other teams are getting hot at the right moment, and they are also trying to do whatever they can to make it into the playoffs. That's going to take us into the Rockets and Spurs matchup. We're going to be going with the Spurs plus the three, which is available at minus 108 on FanDuel. A couple of reasons why uh, I like the Spurs in the spot. First of all, Houston has already declared that they don't really care much about this game. I know that Westbrook has missed the last couple of games. He's going to be returning. However, the Rockets have already announced that James Harden will not be playing in this game. So Houston's kind of just deciding on what games they want to play Harden what games they want to play Westbrook. They already announced that Westbrook's going to be playing in this game, but he's not going to be playing on Wednesday. So Houston is trying, I guess, win games while also resting their star players. So they're not not necessarily all in in their last couple of games. Even though Houston has been successful with that strategy of using Harden by himself, it is worth mentioning that, first of all, you don't know how many minutes Westbrook's even going to play because he hasn't played in the last couple of games. B, is he going to be sharp because he hasn't played in – once again, a couple of games. And see the fact that Westbrook and Harden are not playing together means that Houston is already focusing on the playoffs, but they are still trying to at least remain competitive in these regular season games. Meanwhile, San Antonio is still in the thick of fighting for the nine spot in the Western Conference if you want to break down the actual standings. As of right now, you have a pretty tight race going on in the West between the Grizzlies, the Trailblazers, the Suns, and the Spurs. And the Spurs are currently half a game out of the nine. So this is a must-win game for San Antonio, and you expect San Antonio to do whatever they can to pull out a victory here against the Rockets, who are already resting some key pieces. Now, San Antonio has been successful as well lately. I talked talked about how Houston won each of its last two games. So has San Antonio. San Antonio ended up beating Utah by eight, and they beat New Orleans by nine. So they've been playing some pretty solid basketball lately as well, and they are going to be at full strength. So I think there is some value in San Antonio. Plus, it is worth mentioning that the two previous meetings in the regular season were decided by exactly two points. So Spurs won game one by two, Rockets won game two by two points, and now the spread's plus three, and the Rockets are not going to be using their best player. I have to take San Antonio here. You have the motivation, you have recent momentum, and you have the fact that the Rockets are resting some pieces and they're kind of focusing on some future endeavors. So for that reason, uh, the play today is going to be on the San Antonio Spurs plus three, which is available at minus 108 on FanDuel. If you want to take the money line, you can. It's available at roughly plus 128. But I'm going to take the plus three uh, because of the fact that I still think Westbrook could perform really well. And it wouldn't surprise me to see Houston go bombs away from the three-point line and to potentially catch fire. But I do expect San Antonio to keep this game as a nail-biter throughout, and I'm going to take the points. So once again, the play of the day, once again, for Tuesday, August 11th, is going to be on the San Antonio Spurs plus the three, which is available on FanDuel at minus 108. That's an installment of of, uh, Scott Selections here with winnersandwinners.com. Good luck to all of you and your respective bets today. Bye, everyone.